Manahata, how are you? Hi. So today I want to talk to you about something that can totally transform every aspect of your life. And that is how stress squashes your dreams. It's a pretty heavy subject, but we're going to get into it. Hi, Chandra. How are you? Hi, Jean. Hi, everyone joining. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you all about how stress squashes your dreams. Why? So that you can change that. So here's what's happening on a biological level, and then we'll get into a spiritual level and beyond. On a biological level, when you are in fight, flight, or frozen mode, your body becomes more particle. You go into survival mode, right? There's a threat. Your energy does not expand when you're in a threat mode. Your body goes, holy cow, I need to take care of myself. And so what happens is your view energetically retracts. So when you are, and as human beings, unfortunately, um, we make up a lot of our stresses, right? Time, um, lack of time, rather, lack of uh, what we desire, um, emotional suffering, all the things that we go through, uh, the thoughts we keep thinking, um, our stresses aren't uh, like the stresses of the past. Where am I going to get my, you know, food? Where is there a tiger that's going to eat me? Generally, we don't have that. But what happens is we can actually live in stress mode just through thoughts. And so what happens on a biological level, and the reason why you can't seem to break out of the pattern and experience new things, is because you have no energy left to do so. Your body is in survival mode. You are just trying to get by, right? Your habitual thoughts are producing emotional responses, which are uh, so familiar that you're living in this pattern without actually thinking about what's going on, and you do not have any more energy. So the reason uh, we, I say that stress squashes your dreams is simply because you, you don't allow yourself to live in any moment but the past or the future when you're in stress mode. You are habitually thinking about how things could have been different, what went wrong, um, the things that happened to you that are hurtful, um, the, the stresses that you have gone through mentally, physically, emotionally. When you put your energy there, you are not in the now. You are not centered in your anahata. And what that does is, again, it, it, it contracts your energy, but it also projects it backwards, right? You're not focused on the now and moving forward. You're in the past. Likewise, if you are allowing those patterns to be projected into the future, stresses, what you have to do, your to-do list, you are literally blocking out any um, opportunity for the unknown to occur, to occur. You literally are going to be experiencing the same thing from day to day to day to day. And so stress, fight, flight, frozen, whether it's environmental stresses that you know, have you focus on uh, things you don't want to focus on or um, even pretend things that then uh, activate emotional responses where you're feeling these feelings, thinking these thoughts, those thoughts are causing more feelings and you're thinking more of those thoughts and those feelings and it's this looping cycle that you're in this pattern that you feel like you can't break. Well, good luck with anything exciting or out of the ordinary happening when you are in that frame of mode. When you are in the stress response, when you are in a particle phase, when you can't see past um, the past and what has to be for the future. Now, luckily, there is a solution to all of this, and it is consciousness. It is not allowing those thought patterns and emotional addictions that we have that are cycling through, that are making our life very predictable. That are, that are disallowing anything um, new to enter our life, we are in control. And when we have consciousness, that is awareness, 
that we are following those patterns, that is the very first step of breaking free, of having new open-ended possibilities. And guys, to be conscious, you have to be in the now. We have to be fully in the now with no attachment and or rehashing and or hyperthinking or focus on the things in the past that have occurred and no anxiety about the unknown, about what we have to get done, about the demands of life, about all of these other stresses which are shrinking our energy. So literally, I hope you can rem remind yourself uh, if you want to change, you need to change, right? You cannot tackle um, your issues with the same energy that you used to create them. What that means is we've got to have desire to want to break out into the newness, but then we have to put the work in. And what's the work? The work is consciously opening up to new possibilities not allowing those stress factors to dictate our thoughts and our emotions. Guys, this is where compassion comes into play. You can't expect things to change overnight. I mean, you could, but don't get down on yourself if they don't, is what I'm saying. We can say, I've tried, but look, nothing's happening. And through beating that nothing happening drum, nothing happens, right? So we've got to continue to be optimistic, to have gratitude and joy for what will occur when we, through consciousness, understand what we're asking for vibrationally and decide what we want to command to ourselves. Do we want our futures to be more of the past? Do we want our futures to be filled with anxiety and uncertainty? Or do we want our now, which by the way is the only point of power, to be filled with infinite possibilities and in focusing on those choices from moment to moment to moment to moment to moment. We can start expanding our energy because we will move away from stress. We won't be beating the drum of stress. We won't be thinking the thoughts that activate the addictive stress hormones and the emotions which flood our energy and take all of our forward momentum right? So here's the thing. Anahata Codes can also help you. I am hosting, beginning tomorrow, a five-week series called Grid for Gaia. If you go to gridforgaia.com, you can check out this five-week series. The very first week gives you all the information you need to actually work through what I call shadow integration and block removal. This is breaking the patterns and the addictions that you have to the thoughts and the emotions that are co-creating your stress response and keeping you locked away in this pattern where you have no energy whatsoever to even entertain desire, joy, love. You are just trying to survive. And guys, survival is not thriving. Survival is going to just cycle the same. You're never going to get out of that pattern unless you have consciousness, unless you have support and understanding on how to break these patterns. Now, don't feel bad. It's human nature. Uh, the biologist Bruce Lipton says that 95% of every day is spent playing programs. Okay. What it means is we as humans think a thought have an emotion, those emotions become a memory, and in the future, we don't think through things. We just have a response through familiarity, and that's okay. That's also part of being wise with your energy, not having to figure it all out from, from an infant's point of view every moment. What becomes damaging is those cycles of pain and suffering and stress and anxiety that we allow ourselves to keep regurgitating over and over and over again. Now, 95% of our stress response is just that. It's all in our head. It's not literally happening, okay? These are memories and thoughts tied with emotions that feel real about the past. They aren't happening in, in now time. 
have you ever had a response where you're like, wow, I can't believe I, I reacted that way. That, you know, if I look at what actually happened, I was really overreacting. You weren't overreacting. You were simply tying that thought to an emotion that happened in the past and it triggered you. It's part of your shadow. It's part of something that went on that you haven't brought, broke free of, either through suppression and regurgitating it over and over again, being a pattern. And so the very first week of Grid for Gaia, I teach you all about how to breathe consciousness into your moment-to-moment -moment choices through your source point, which is your anahata, your now potential, so that you can think new thoughts that create new emotions which don't have a determined outcome before you've even tried. This is when you start getting your passion back or maybe for the first time, inspiration starts happening. You start elevating out of those lower chakras of survival and basic needs into elevated states of awareness, of being, of choice. And as you start experiencing the relief that happens when you are in, centered in your now, right? You can picture like this tornado, all this debris, all of these programs from your entire lifetime or lifetimes coming around and you dip in and out of this familiar soup of stress. We've got to take it of past and present, right? We've got to take it into the center point, the path of least resistance, get calm within ourselves so that we can stop this mental looping and this emotional response that is trapped in the past or projecting onto the future so that we can allow newness into our lives, so that we can begin to consciously choose what we want and allow it. Guys, if you think about it, if you're trapped in the same stress response um, and your energy is withdrawn because you're just holding on for survival, even when something miraculous was about to happen, you won't have time for it. You have no energy to even see what is there. And so I will teach you through shadow integration and block removal, which is just class one of this five week series that starts tomorrow, guys. You can go to www.gridforgaia.com. I will not only teach you how to center and anchor into this source point to develop new choices, to expand into wave versus particle, to be in a whole new frame of possibilities on a continual basis, Guys, the side effect is going to be joy, bliss, elation, and that will come to you. Now, as that starts happening, as you elevate into this new state of being, you will then be able to project that coherence to others. And that's what the other classes are, two, weeks two, three, and four, uh, various ways to help you remember that you change the energy and you change the manifestation of the mass. That is what alchemy is. So this is a grid alchemist course, but it starts from the internal grid, right? Your source point, your anahata. It branches out into the grid around you, your friends, family, who needs support in your, in your immediate area? How can you uh, project your newfound peace, joy, stability, inspiration, passion. How can you infuse that support as a carrier into your community and beyond? This is grid work. This is taking back our power. This is understanding our patterns in order to choose a different reality. I am asking you to change, yes. If you do not change the energy, Nothing will change. But if you can understand when you change the energy, you change the manifestation of the mass, there is nothing that you can't do. You become a grid alchemist. Now, if you know nothing about Anahata codes, that's okay. We will be discussing it. You have access to various elements of uh, bonuses and things with Anahata codes as well. Um, but in a nutshell, the Anahata codes give you the raw energy to tap into the thing that already experiences that reality which you seek. In English, your superpower can be any superpower in the universe because you're already connected to it. We are one, 
and it's not just on a spiritual level literally we are one you have access through the quantum field your source point your intention and the codes to anything in the universe now when that occurs you are able to not just wish that you could do whatever you can actually tap into remembering your connection to the thing you need which is going to dynamically activate what i call resonance remembrance you are remembering the resonance of the thing that you're already connected to through consciousness choice your heart portal and the code when that happens you will trans you'll basically fast forward your evolution fast forward this knowing that i teach you about breaking patterns of the past and living in the now and not projecting uh, your misery into the future and you can literally transform every aspect of your life and then take it further than that. Spread that transformative juice through your power as a co-creator, as a grid alchemist, to offer support to your loved ones, to your community, to your region, to the globe, to this little organism called Earth. It's and it's an amazing ride. It brings so much fulfillment and it's a perpetual thing. You just keep, it just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better. So please do go to gridforgaia.com. Join the class. It is just $50 a month for six months. Okay. So this is like a gym membership, but think about it as a gym membership for your mind, body, and soul. It's going to transform every aspect of your life. And then once you're in the program, you'll be in the program forever. That's the cool part. I give you a seat to all upcoming broadcasts. Now, if you're worried, I can't make it live tomorrow. I can't do this tomorrow. It doesn't matter. People always say, well, when is it? That's irrelevant because everything is recorded for you. There is a member center that houses all of the live broadcasts and then replays as well as all the supplemental material for the journey that you can refer back to over and over and over again. And then as I take it to the next level and continue to upgrade this program, you've already got a seat in the program, even though you've already paid for your courses. So it's an amazing value add. There's lots of bonuses also going on right now, guys. Currently the package that I'm offering that is just $299 is worth over a thousand given all the bonuses that I throw in there too. Uh, just to highlight some of the bonuses, uh, you get a 21 day emotional detox journey, and that is a journey through 21 different codes to implement uh, the removal of fear from your life. That is just a huge, huge, huge value add. You also get the Frequency Alchemist course that is worth the cost of entry to the entire program, that is where I teach you how to use carriers, crystals, water, oil to hold the frequencies that you desire to admit in order to change and transform the energy around you. Change the energy, change the manifestation of the mass. Mass. You become a grid alchemist in all ways, starting from your source point, branching out. Uh, and then lastly, there's a brand new uh, course which I'm going to launch, which everyone also receives when they join this series. And that is the how to heal your past, present, and future. In it, I'm going to be hosting a webinar here in a couple weeks, and you're probably going to want to join. And then it's going to go, you're going to go, dang it, I could have gotten that for free in the Grid for Gaia class. But that course is going to be all about teaching you how to project from your now to the past or to the future to heal those things so that your now is essentially elevated. How many of you have had trauma in one form or another that you wish, man, I wish I would have known what I know now because I would have been able to deal with that in a different way. You can actually travel back in time and forward. Time is an illusion. And so I teach you how to transform the energy of the past in order to change your now. So that class is also going to be included as a bonus. You get five classes plus three bonuses. Again, it's worth $1,000 or more and you get it for $299. Six payments of $50, so for the next six months, if you can afford $50 a month, you can be in the class. 
And this class keeps going, right? It's not just like when it's over, it's done. You can take it again and again for new reasons, for new revelations. And as I progress this information, you, of course, will elevate as well and benefit through having a seat to it. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. We start tomorrow. We were supposed to start last week, and there was a glitch. So this, I think, is divine timing for a lot of you who perhaps didn't understand the value of grid work or you thought it was just for the globe. And you're like, dude, look, Anahata, I'm in survival mode. I can't be thinking about uh, the globe as much as I love everyone. I need to, to do me right now. This is also what you need for those reasons that I just talked about. Because stress, right, we don't want that. We want to be centered in our now so that we can become more wave, more light, more expansive. And we aren't in survival mode. We are in bliss mode. And we can project that assistance out to everyone. So shadow integration, block removal starts tomorrow in our Grid for Gaia class. Join at www.gridforgaia.com. God bless you on your path and all you do to facilitate the evolution of the human race. Yes, you are that important. I love you all. God bless you. Let's uh, give a shout out to everyone. Hi, Linda. Hi, Henrique. Hello, Aldo. Hi, Courtney. Hi, David. Um, hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bizpa and Jen and Chandra and everyone else who, who will join uh, in the future on this webcast. I love you all so much. Again, uh, thanks for being here and have a beautiful, blessed day in the now. And let's uh, end our cycles of stress responses. And guys, there's easy ways to do it. You may think it's just this pattern that you can't break through. I'm going to teach you some simple, simple ways to choose and to bring consciousness into the now moment so that your choices are infinite and not locked in patterns of pain from the past. All right, guys, love to you all. Have a good day. See you later.